Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install GIMP on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So GIMP, if you don't already know, is a kind of free Photoshop alternative, which is really fantastic because it's completely open source and it works on many different platforms. And so to install it on your Mac, all you need to do is visit the website GIMP.org and leave a link to this website in the description. Once we get to the main page, we're going to click on the download button here. If you can't see this here, you can also go to the download section at the top of this menu bar here. So now on the downloads page, we're going to go here. It's asking us whether we want to download this via BitTorrent or download GIMP directly. And what we can do is just go ahead and download the orange button here. Here, I'm just going to press this. And then we're going to start downloading the software. So once that's downloaded, we're going to go to the Finder section here. And then we're going to go to Downloads. So once GIMP has been downloaded, we're going to find this GIMP.dmg file. So what we're going to do is double click on here. And now we have these installation instructions. We're going to click on this dog icon here, and we're going to hold and left click on this icon, and we're going to drag it onto the right, which is going to go into the Applications folder, and then let go. So that's copying to the Applications folder. So once that's complete, we're going to go to the Applications folder, and then we're going to go and find the GIMP application, and it's this dog icon here. We're going to go ahead and double click, and it's going to ask us if we want to open. We're going to press Open. So now the software has been installed, you can go ahead and create a new file, press OK here, and you can do your standard image manipulation here. And there are lots of tools that you can use, which are very Photoshop-like. So at the time of recording, GIMP 2.1 is an Intel application, so this uses the Rosetta 2 translation layer in order for this to work on the system. It does not have a native ARM build, but it's really not necessary as this is a very lightweight program and probably works fine even with the translation layer on. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other M1 Mac tutorials for gaming and productivity on my channel. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.